Welcome back to SGE TV. We are excited to be here with you. We are going to start off with a little quiz to test your knowledge about the SGE application packet. Advisors, please pause the video now and record your advisory answers in the Google form. Okay, let's review. True or false, the cover page of the application is the application worksheet. This sheet tells you when the application is due, the application website, and what is needed to complete the application. A, true, B, false. The correct answer is A, true. The application worksheet tells you everything you need to do to complete your application. Let's move on to question two. All of the following are parts of the application packet that help me figure out when things are due, except A, the calendar, B, the application instructions, C, the application worksheet, or D, information about programs. The correct answer for this one is D. Within every information packet, there is an application worksheet, application instructions, and a possible calendar to help you figure out when you, each piece of the application is due. The program information simply tells you what the program is like. True or false, part of the application packet can help you brainstorm your shared answer responses. A, true, B, false. The correct answer here is true. There's an essay brainstorm sheet. Let's move on to question three. Question three, the person who will write my counselor recommendation is A, my advisor, B, Mrs. Raglan, C, Mrs. Robinson, or D, Mrs. McCain? The correct answer is D, Mrs. McCain. For the purposes of SGE, she is a counselor that will write your counselor recommendations. Last question. Where do you turn all complete application pieces, including paper, paper applications? A, your locker. B, your advisor. C, the SGE being in the cast office. Or D, your friend. Well, you are correct. Make sure to turn in all paperwork with your name on it to the SGE being in the cast office, which is found on the second floor of the main building. After last week's episode, we got a lot of really great SGE questions from students. We wanted to give students the opportunity to ask those questions now so that we could answer them. In my application packet, there is a paper application, but I need to complete the actual application online. Should I write? out the application before I start the online application? That's a great question. Remember, Landria and I are here to give you all of the best insider tips to finding and actually being accepted to the best SGEs. We will advise you to write a draft of your application before typing it. That's right. Not all applications will allow you to save your work as you go. So it is best to do a written draft of your application before you start typing it. That way, your advisor or Mrs. McCain can look it over and proofread it before you type up the final version. Let's move on to another student question. These application packets are long and complicated. I don't mean to be rude, but sometimes I feel so overwhelmed I don't even know where to start. That is a very understandable concern. Applying to SGEs is a lot of work, and so the process can be very confusing. Always keep in mind that applying for SGEs is very similar to applying to post-secondary pathways and jobs. By working through the SGE process, you are making sure that you are developing the skills you will need in college and your career. Exactly. That being said, Shamar and I recommend that all students working on an SGE application start with the short answer or the essay. I know y'all don't want to hear that, but it's true. The essay or the short answer is going to take the longest, and it's the part that you are going to need the most feedback on. Please, please, please start on the essay first. Also, please don't avoid applying for an SGE just because it has an essay requirement. I am a team brother, and I really want to ask my old man teacher for a recommendation to the SGE. I'm applying to, but he doesn't work here anymore. What do I do? Lucky for you, there are a lot of other teachers at Soulsville that can write your recommendation. If the teacher you want to write your recommendation no longer works here, you can ask a different teacher, including any that you have this year. Let's move on to another question from a student. I really want to apply to a certain SGE, but there is a $50 fee for the program. I don't want to ask my family to pay $50 for an SGE. I'm also worried that I may not have transportation to and from the SGE. What should I do? That is a great concern. You are applying to SGEs in February and these programs don't start until June. Money and transportation are hard to figure out that far in advance. Landria and I recommend that all students apply to all programs that interest them. 
Once you have been accepted to a program, your advisor and Mrs. McCain will work with you to make sure that there are no financial or transportation barriers to attending an SGE. Exactly. We will talk about this in later episodes too. But there's actually a form called a red flag form that you can fill out if a money if money or transportation issue arises from a program that you have been accepted to. Never hesitate to reach out to your advisor or Mrs. McCain about these issues. They will help you figure it out. Let's listen to our last student question. I already have an SGE for the summer, but there are a lot of other programs I'm interested in. Can I still apply for other SGEs? Are you kidding? Of course you can and should apply to more than one SGE. The more SGEs you participate in, the more interesting summer you have. Participating in many SGEs means that you set yourself apart on college and job applications too. We are issuing a challenge to all Salesville students. In the past, some students completed four SGEs in one summer. We want to see how many students will meet or exceed that. How many of you are participating in four or more SGE programs this summer? On that note, I bet you are all excited to hear what programs have applications out now. Advisors, it is almost time to listen to the commercials for this week. But first, we want to thank all of those students for sharing their SGE questions with us. We're glad to be here to help clear up all your SGE concerns, and we are looking forward to the best SGE year yet. Let's recap what we've learned so far during SGE season 2019. Last week, we reviewed the requirements for SGEs to count and receive credit. Two, today we re reviewed the structure of each SGE application packet, Next week, we'll start using our SGE calendar agendas, but don't worry about that for now. Remember, you can always find extra copies of SGE applications on the second floor of the main building at the SGE table in the lobby. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.